Well, let's talk. Let's. I want to knock this topic out. I guess let's do it now before it's too late. Uh, we want to talk about Final Fantasy XI and the general MMO experience, which oh, we can, you're going old school. Yeah, we're going old school. So That's when retro, when did Final Fantasy XI right come out? I'm not even sure. It had to have been early 2000s or. I can look this up. So look this up. So start. Give me yeah, your intro I to was, Final Fantasy. Like How a, did you get, get into it? Middle school, I would say like sixth grade, seventh grade. My friend was like, "Hey, you should do this." This is back when we had dial up, like doon doon. Yeah. Hey, the yeah. back, the internet thing in the back was like a phone plug, right? Yeah. It, yeah. It's like a phone. It was like a phone plug, and I would I had dial up basically. They, yeah. May 16th, 2002. Oh. Wow. 2002. So EverQuest came out in 99. Yeah. And that's, I was pulled into that on PC. Yeah. I didn't even hear about FX11. Yeah. Didn't even it's, really hear it's about it. It's a very, like, it was a very Japanese oriented game. I would play late at night because I got, like, to, like, level 75 on a wow. white mage, basically. And it would just be a Holy bunch crap. of Japanese kids typing www. Like, that's, like, their LOL, like, evidently. Oh, well. That's how they say it, LOL. And, like, if you fuck up and mess up, they type Z, 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 like, you're a dumbass or, like, question marks. All, like, they just spam question marks if you suck at something oh my god but they're very nice but and they have like the cutest emojis i was always so jealous of like oh, right, what like they their, come up with their little faces and they like they had like emotes to you like had to be super creative back yeah in the day. and like in that game you had like certain roles whenever you would play certain shit and you'd have to have like alerts like oh i'm taunting right oh, now sure, yeah so that way you can keep aggro and know how much aggro you're gonna pull etc cetera, etc cetera. and like they would have little emotes for every single one like and, and like a little sound like a bell or a chime or something and they would have like the cutest like little kirby or like hands oh, awesome. and like or pulling and monster because they would have to like pull go actually go you could, out you could and get like monster. articulate or animate your person even for pulling and stuff oh no 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 i'm just oh, saying. okay just like in macros, chat yeah macros, it yeah. was just like like just some type of emojis. It was really cute. I, I finally, eventually, when I got super deep into it, I was setting those up for my taunts, like incoming in five seconds. Exactly, blah, 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 exactly. Like, incoming. You had to do yeah. that kind of and stuff to let everybody that, cause, know. Because people were getting mad. They're like, "You have to have it," and I'm yeah. like, "I type it before." Then I was getting tired of typing it. Um, yeah. So in EQ, well, EQ one wasn't my deep experience. I was literally 12 years old when it came out. I played it till I was about 15, had a good time, but I was too young to be the super deep player that a lot of people get sucked into for EQ years yeah. go by. I get out of high school. EQ two comes out. I can't remember what year, but my friend goes, Hey, I'm playing EQ two. He's the one I used to play EQ one with long story short. Cause it is a long fucking story. <laughs> Seriously. Long story. Take me years to tell it. Uh, <laughs> Cause that's how long we played that it, it. Uh, I played each of the, one of the, the classes so i got to get a get a feel for being the tank and pulling yeah, and yeah, guarding yeah. And, yeah. and getting stuff off and being the assassin and doing all the damage being yeah. the wizard being the healer being and there's such dramatically different roles and you can really a lot of people just choose one it's and that really is cool. their character but like but sometimes i like so how, cool seeing the worlds of yeah, yeah and like it like whenever you try them all out and you choose your favorite it really kind of like matches up with your personality yeah it's really cool yep. I yeah i already had a main like my main was paladin yeah. I had so much fun yeah. with Paladin. Most healers are like very nice people for the most yeah. part, like passive, like or you get that one healer that's like I'm DPS, spent, yeah. and they're like insane. Yeah, like what is You're that? Like, what? How do you <laughs> heal and do a hundred thousand like, damage? How the fuck did you do that? Like, I, don't know, like, I can find Final Fantasy Eleven would be like a white mage doing Dia or Diago like the whole time, just casting holy maybe like that. That's what's up. Actually, white it's mage, crazy. You see that break yeah. in the game or like ex expertise level of gameplay. No, nah, MMOs and, and gaming is uh, so it's I can't so relate fun. on FFX. I keep saying F11. I just something. say FFXI, but it's FF11, Final Fantasy 11. Oh, There's no shorter way I, of saying it. I don't it. Yeah. have no fancy FF11. story like you guys. I never played that game before. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what's so? But what's I do something? have, wait, I do have <laughs> okay. a really cool story related to this game. Okay. Okay. So about a year and a half ago, I went down to the border, the valley down here in Texas, and hey, I visited uh, Shady J's mom because I was uh, uh, in the episode uh, 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 from a Game Chasers episode. Okay, I was a recording. I was recording flea market stuff. I was the cameraman for them that that nice. time. Right, so we stayed at Shady J's mom's house. And this is the story of how I got Shady J's mom's digits. So, <laughs> so just <laughs> is this a diss track on listen, the low? Listen up, all right. <laughs> I've told this story at panels before, and some people might not have remembered. But here's how that I got Jay's mom's number. <laughs> 
<laughs> from an MMO? What? Yeah. How? <laughs> okay, so yeah, and it all it was all about fro- through. Oh, I got Jay's mom's number because of Final Fantasy Eleven. Hey, okay, so shout out Final Fantasy Eleven. Word. So, yeah, it gets you digits. <laughs> it gets you late. <laughs> so check it. No, it doesn't do that. It oh. just gets you the digits. Oh, okay. okay. So, you get the sacred digits. so check it. Right, we go down there and we do our <laughs> game chaser thing. Right. And Shady J's like recording like every closet, every shed, because he's trying to look for like video games. He's game chasing at his mom's house. He's going through all her closet stuff, and we're, we're, and I'm recording, and he's him and J- Billy are going through all his old stuff, and we actually find video games. His mom's an actual legit gamer, unreal. It was crazy because you know she's an older lady. And uh, it was just weird to see sure, yeah. that, you know, she knew about Final I mean, She's talking about Final Fantasy what? 11. Like, I never heard so anyone talk about it before. And she was just going on about it so passionately. Like, oh, just, she was, she she was, was into it. Yeah, she, she would just. It's t- really good. And it felt, she felt, she kept saying, like, man, I would love before the servers go down oh. to just play one more time. Dude, and is just, it, wait, and can I... Tra- yeah, no, go ahead. Tra- that is... Okay, wait, no, no, let's finish your story. Okay, so she goes, man, I j- she, j- just, she was just talking out loud. She was just talking out loud because there was nothing... I think she had the game already, but uh, she didn't have a PlayStation 2. So she's like, I, she was just going on about how much time she spent in this world and, and just going on with her friends. And she made tons of friends in this fucking game. It was insane. It's and a little community. She, right. Everyone knows and she thing. wanted to just log on and just talk to people and just wanted to go into the world just one more yeah. time. And I felt like, whoa, this is coming from Jay's mom. Like, this wow, is crazy, man. right? That's a really good story. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that, right? So then... Jay, Jay sees some games up on the shelf in a bedroom and I see a game in there that I want a PlayStation 2 game called Valkyrie 2 or whatever so then I'm like hey Jay I got it. because as soon as Billy saw the games he's like he was dibs he's like that's mine <laughs> and like these are Jay's mom's games and he's calling <laughs> dibs on J- Billy Jay's like that's mine that's mine that's mine and that's mine that's mine Jay's like fuck you these are my games man what you talking about so I saw a game in there that I wanted. I was like, hey, Jay, I want that game. How much for that game? And he goes, I'll trade you a PlayStation 2 for it. Because he knew his mom wanted a PlayStation 2 to play to be able to play that game one more time before the servers were going to go down. So he, I go, yeah, I can get you a PlayStation 2. That's no big deal, you know? So then I get... Uh, I, I she that whole rest of the time she was like, "Don't forget my PlayStation Two. Here, <laughs> take my number down. You call me as soon yeah. as you get home, and I'll email you my or text you my address so that you can send me the PlayStation." And true to form, I got home like a week later, and she was texting me, telling me, "Hey, you got that place?" I, I was like, "I already sent it. Don't worry. I, as soon as I got home, I sent it out, and uh, she got it. And I sent her that uh, adapter thing that goes in the back." Oh yeah, the you, internet you, the, thing. Yep, Ethernet. So, Ethernet thing. So I sent her all that. She's got to have a hard drive too. Her, yeah, she needs a hard drive as well, right? And uh, but she, I think she had all that. That thing is so. Hard. I, I spent so much time trying to get that working uh, in 2011. Robin, I was right, actually before I started my YouTube channel, I was trying to get on FFXI. I don't know if I can ever get that right. Um, yeah, that's like, so it's as close as it's gonna get for it. That's awesome, dude. So that reminds me, I want to transition, uh, well, within this topic, but to wanting Told to you go, my story was cool, though. Wanting to go back and play. I get this feeling every once in a while. I start thinking about how much time I spent, like like you said, like Jay's mom was saying, in this world, you become attached to it. You become mm-hmm. attached to the community. You spent so much time in FFXI that you just, you do, have you ever gone back? Do you go back? Um, do you I want to go back. I, when I originally started, I played hardcore and I went, I, I quit. And my, I went, I quit for like a year or two and then I went back and it turned out my guild got bought out by like a, or got taken over by some Chinese gold selling kind of no. guild. Like, and I joined it and I didn't know what the heck was happening. And they took me on like hardcore notorious monster hunting, like to get cracking club, et cetera, et cetera. Like to get really crazy items like that took hours of just sitting in one spot and hoping wow. you got it. I would go like as a slash hunter, of course, to scan the map so you could see what, 
what was going to pop and like, whoa, we had like a few people that were just monsters at it. Cause I mean, like they did this for a living. And then like afterwards I found out they're Chinese gold sellers and I was like, Oh, I gotta go. I can't, but they would always split the gold with me. Like huh. we would get the okay. item and they would just give me the money. Like they already had it on them. Like they would give me like seven mil gill or like five mil gill. Like they didn't even have to go sell it to get that money. They already had it. Like they just wow. to get more and more. And they, I, that's when I knew something was up and I was like, I gotta go. And I left. But like after that experience, I kind of never went back, but like I remember doing like King Behemoth and like kiting that with like three alliances or whatever and having like a little Tartu bard slash uh, ninja kiting it with like a paladin following him, rotating healers, like like having one party heal and like one party of healers just like getting mana back, like very coordinated stuff, kiting him in yeah, that circle, that square. Like it was probably the most intense gaming I've ever had as like ever because I mean, it's like a basically like doing some kind of like um, well that's how she was talking yeah it's amazing she just kept like oh it's awesome dude and everyone's I, very nice yeah completely yeah. there's not that many trolls on that game because mm-hmm. it takes so much effort to play that no one does and you can't really screw other over other players that much except like we're competing competing for camps or something but other than that you can't really so why do you think they closed down the server it was so popular so I many mean, players even to this day yeah, they uh, they closed down FFXI. I think so. Oh, from what yeah. I read last, oh, man, no man, that yeah. sucks. And you know what? EQ two is still going, but I have, <sighs> and it's like that other ones that the I, people that want to let it go, like the the people that want to take it over, the modders or whatever, like they want to set up the server, but they won't let them because of you know the that licensing. Sucks. You know, that sucks. So, and I feel I completely feel for them. And after even after this discussion, it's only now makes me more. Uh, wanting to go download that, install it again, try to get on and see my characters because I have all my characters still. I've got my housing. I've got all my stuff that I built. I put years into this game. Um, I just remember spending so much time, like you said, like sitting in certain places or going to certain places. I mean, I'm talking more than places I've been in real life. <laughs> yeah. Like there's this digital world I know like the back of my hand. It's yeah. insane. Know I know all the monsters. The digital world. All, it's yeah. In, yeah. It's insane. Or they all, I mean, like I lived huh. in it for years. And so there's this like feeling of, of like wanting to go back for me, but knowing that I don't have any time for it. There's n- I could never play the way I used to play when I was yeah. raiding with 24 people at the top of my game with, you know, hitting the stuff where it's like, Oh, y'all took out the, I mean, this was way back in the day. Like y'all took out the whole shard of hate. Like how did you kill the the last three bosses? Like, oh, it took us three hours to kill one of them. Yeah, and we had to you know rearrange our strategy over and over. Yeah, we finally found one that, that worked. About it. Yeah, we finally about. found one that worked, but we had to get someone with better gear, or yeah. we had to get someone that uh, was was doing the specific thing at the specific time, and it worked. A certain you know? class or something. Yeah. We barely got him one percent and killed it, or died at one percent. The next time we killed him. Man, it's just it's such it's uh, such a yeah. It's so fulfilling. Like the, it is, and you want to get that feeling over and over. And like, and it only drops like one piece of yeah. loot or two, and you're like, <gasps> back to what he was saying though. Like the reason why I think Final Fantasy 11 stopped is because Final Fantasy 14 came out, and that's like <sighs> their new investment. I played Final Fantasy 14. I was I a raid leader. I played. Oh I got, really? I got to wow. coil. Yeah, I quit before like the coil turns 10 oh, through 15. Shit. Quit. Like I w- I would take my team to like turn 10, like on the regular basis and like eventually I just got so burnt out on trying it and like after I beat it I was like okay that's cool and then of course they unleashed um, um, they like sent out like a new level of um, gods like Leviathan or oh wow whatever and you had it like you had a new level of that and then they, ha- they added like five more turns to the coil of behemoth or whatever and it was like if this is all they're gonna do then I'm pretty bored with just killing like a one turn a day or like, I mean a week or a month, depending on how difficult it is for your, your team. But like, Jesus, I, it's just, it's so dumb and like lame. My friend wants to go back to it though. He wants to try it because he never went in as depth in as it, I did because, but he didn't have the time at that time, but I did, but it just gets so repetitive towards the end. Like you only have like two or three dungeons to do unless like wow. maybe you craft, but the, I love Final fantasy crafting. It's very, it's fun. It's pretty intense. Yeah. There's the whole crafting element. The, um, and expansions always felt like a really fun part of the game, like bringing out that whole new era of the game, but it also killed everything before it. And you really needed to experience everything before the new expansion yeah. to get the fulfillment of everything. Uh, gear is always fun. The community is just, I want to find, I think my point is I want to find something and I've always been looking for a new MMO. I can't ever find it, man. Go Black Star Desert Wars. online. Try it on. Really? Black Desert online is a really good MMO. It's very grindy, but 
in terms of like if you just want to play for fun like i think it's really fun the things that you can do like fishing they unleash uh, uh, i want to go back to it i played that game very like hardcore too like i was um on a guild called flex and we were like second in the server or whatever oh shit and that game is really fun but it's so hard because it relies so much on rng towards the end of the game like oh, you're just wow. hoping that your gear like you have it's like the type of game it's like a korean game you have like one piece of gear like you have the same chest piece it legs like a proc and arms, or something and yeah. like you have to get it to plus one two sure, three sure. all the way up to 15 before i quit whoa and like you would basically like do you get all, like waste all this time farming materials and hoping that it would get to plus 15 and if it didn't you basically just wasted all your gold in that time and it just gets oh to the point God. where like people are trying to like upgrade because they, they finish their gear everyone finishes their gear like their gear and then, then they get to accessories and accessories if you mess up you have to buy it like the way to upgrade accessories is you get like another one of it and if you mess up you can delete like you can get your rings deleted it's like a very hardcore game like <sighs> holy that. Like crap you lose yeah those hardcore rings and like Jesus. like witches rings or witches earrings or whatever and that like sounds- ogres rings were really big in that game black desert online it's a very fun game though i like it a lot it's very like well made and developed I I've, I've read a little bit about it, it looked cool it's very good so um, when asked what was your favorite final fantasy game Ooh, I would. I like eleven the most because because it had the most impact. I figured impact. that one. It had dude. an impact on me the so, most. So let's seven's wrap up. Good. It, that's the end of our MMO discussion. So Mine's thirteen. Was, uh, seven's good though. I, I think right. that uh, my favorite Final Fantasy is, dude. Fuck. Um, I just, I, you could tell it was eleven totally. I love it. Yeah. I said thirteen. No one's gonna say that. Nothing about that. No one just said that. No one's just gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You I just really said liked eight. I nine, don't like thirteen. I really liked eight, nine, and ten in their day. Yes. In no particular order, I loved all three of them in their day. Nowadays, it's hard to go back, but man, I just, I was in love with them when they all came out. I played, I think specifically more nine and 10, I played through those. Yeah. 10 was really big when it came out. Oh, I remember whenever yeah. 10 dropped. That was a good one. It was like the biggest, coolest looking game. And then game the out HD there. came out. Oh, oh PS2? It was eight, uh, and then oh. PS4? It was Wait, it, for, PS2. No, they right? came out no, the they, HD they, they for did PS3. The remake. Oh, the remake. Yeah, okay. they did I've like an HD remake. remake of it. I haven't done, then, I haven't seen that one and yet. And then PS4 came out with a goddamn remake of it. HD. Um, shout out to Kingdom Hearts as well. Kingdom Hearts as well. Kingdom man. Hearts is amazing. Dude. Oh, that's a good one. I played I the first Kingdom one. I think Kingdom Hearts is one of the best games ever. <laughs> like Kingdom in terms of cool. uh, in terms of like I just like the fun and the storyline and like the things you can do in terms of how fluid it feels when you kick butt with the giant like key and key all that blade, stuff. So man. what do you think about Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out? Yeah, I think that's Half-Life next. 3 confirmed. Half-Life 3 is confirmed okay, cool. actually. Harambe is, is going to actually develop it. <laughs> <laughs> that meme that's dicks out for Harambe. Yeah, it's, oh, that's dicks hilarious. Out for Harambe. Oh. It's so funny. And uh, that Rick Harrison meme that you guys were spamming earlier, <laughs> that made me laugh pretty hard when I saw that as well. <laughs> like that was so oh, the pawn shop. Just that random like three or four people are just like this is I'm Rick Harrison uh, one thing I've learned through 23 years of business is like you never know it's gonna walk through those doors <laughs> like well, why how did that turn into a meme though they're putting it over, over different faces it's all something? over Instagram it's okay. all over everywhere it's just like people are just spamming it they love it well, think I'm it's glad funny. it reached here it's been around forever <laughs> yeah it's but been around for a minute funny. but like now it's like having a resurgence people are just thinking I guess it's funny it is funny it I is funny. funny hey we got it. 